In this video, we will see how to calculate area of a triangle using Heron's formula. Normally, how do we calculate the area of a triangle? Area of a triangle is equal to area of a triangle is equal to half base into height. So if we have a triangle like this A, B, C, so we can easily measure the base. So say for example base here is 4 cm. But how do we measure the height? Now that is always a challenge. Because as such, for measuring the height, what we need to do is we need to draw a perpendicular from point C onto the base. That means this angle is 90 and then measure it. So this is the height. So suppose this height is equal to 3 cm. Now then we can calculate using half into base into height. But it is always a challenge that for a given triangle until and unless we draw the triangle to the scale on a piece of paper and then from point C we draw a perpendicular and then measure it. So this means we have to do the construction to the scale, measure it and then and only then we can calculate the area of a triangle. So now in order to make our life simple, Hiron worked out formula for computing or for calculating the area of a triangle if the three sides are given. And the, according to Hiron's formula, the area of a triangle is equal to area of a triangle is equal to S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. Whereas A, B, C are length of three sides of the triangle and S is equal to half of perimeter perimeter that means and half of perimeter is, can also be called as semi perimeter which is equal to half of a plus b plus c so a plus b plus c is the perimeter and half of that is semi perimeter. So we have a triangle, say triangle ABC, and say this triangle, the side A is 4 centimeter, side B is also 4 centimeter, and say this side is 5 centimeter. So in that case, The half of A plus B plus C will be equal to S will be equal to half, half of 4 plus 4 plus 5 that means half of 13 or 6.5. So applying the formula area will be equal to 6.5 into 6.5 minus 4 into 6.5 minus 4 and then 6.5 minus 5. So this will be equal to 6.5 into 2.5 into 2.5 into 1.5. So we can solve this expression and we will get the necessary area of this triangle ABC. So, area of triangle ABC therefore will become this. 
Now, if it is a equilateral triangle, if it is a equilateral triangle, so imagine we have an equilateral triangle. Which is A B C and each side is equal to say A A A because all sides are equal equilateral triangle all sides are equal and suppose A is equal to five centimeter so in that case the area of triangle will be equal to 3a by 2 into 3a by 2 minus a 3a by 2 minus a and 3a by 2 minus a it will be like this so it will be equal to 3a by 2 into a by 2 into a by 2 into a by 2 and this can be written as equal to under root 3 a by 2 square So, and if we substitute a is equal to 5 centimeter, then we will get under root 3 and 5 by 2 square. So, this is equal to under root 3 into 24 pi by 2. So, and we can solve this and then we will get the value. So, the formula for an equilateral triangle which is derived from the Heron's formula is equal to area of area of equilateral triangle is equal to under root 3 a by 2 square where this is the formula for the area of equilateral triangle so this is nothing but a simplification where a is one side a is equal to where a is equal to one side length of one side hiram was a mathematician 12 years before christ it was like almost 2000 years ago and he was from either Alexandria or Egypt, people do not know the exact uh, but uh, you know place of birth for him but he has written many books at that point of time on uh, arriving at the formula for computing the area for various geometrical shapes.